Yeah, it's nice to finally say some real words to each other instead of just, you know, making passing glances across the gym. <laughs> My name is Cherie, by the way. What a lovely name. Yeah, it's really nice to meet you. <laughs> Sorry, I'm still a little bit out of breath from my run. I had a really good session. I did it four miles in five minutes. <laughs> I know I'm a track superstar, what can I say? What about you? What are you working on today? Nice. Yeah, I did that on Tuesday. <laughs> I like to alternate between arms and back and chest and then legs and, you know, just whole body workout some days when I'm really feeling like torturing myself. <laughs> I'm sure you can relate. <laughs> well, I, I see you in here, like, all the time. Would you maybe want to come over to my house and we could, you know, get a bite to eat or go for drinks or something. Or we could just, you know, stay in and have lunch at my place. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I think you're really cute as well. Yeah, definitely. That's kind of why I've been staring at you, you know? It helps when you're very conventionally attractive, such as you are. Sorry, I have an alarm for when I need to leave the gym, which happens to be right now. Did you want to get my number and maybe we could meet up for lunch later? I haven't eaten anything, I'm starving, I just had a protein shake this morning. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting some gains. I'm, I'm doing my best. Show me your guns. Flex for me. <laughs> oh, okay. I like it. Yeah, here, why don't you take down my number and then you can just, you know, let me know if you are looking to get lunch. So it's going to be 7534 nine two six three seven one mm, yeah it's my cell should be calling right now oh yep there you are and i will save you in my contacts and here let me take a selfie to send you Okay, you can use that for my profile picture. <laughs> or, well, my contact photo. Whatever. Anyway. Yeah, I'm, I'm really hoping that we can get lunch because I'd love a chance to get to know you better. I've definitely studied you visually <laughs> and you're my type. But I'd love to see if our personalities match, as well as our physiques would. <laughs> okay, well, hopefully I'll see you later then. Yeah, you two have a good rest of your workout. <laughs> Take care. I'm back with our lunch, as requested, pizza. 
Although, I'm kind of surprised that you wanted a pizza for lunch. You seem a lot more healthy than that, typically. Well, who am I to say? I really don't know much about you. Still, even though it's been, what, like three months since I gave you my number at the gym, you move slow. I did not expect that about you. <laughs> well, I, I was trying to be bold for a reason. So the hint wouldn't be very much of a hint, more so a very obvious flashing light, a green light, to ask me out. Anyways, three months later, here we are, finally, and it's time to eat some pizza. Have a nice lunch get to know each other better. Yeah, I, I feel the same way since I've been sharing those passing glances with you. I've been ever so intrigued with learning more about what makes you, you. I'm sure you remember me saying this at the gym that day, but our physiques are <laughs> clearly a match. However, it doesn't really mean much if our personalities aren't compatible, wouldn't you say? Can I ask you something kind of personal, if you don't mind? Why did it take you three whole months to finally work up the courage to ask me to lunch? Which, by the way, inviting yourself over to my house was an interesting move. With that being said, though, I think it was a good call. I'm really glad to have the home base advantage. So anyway, tell me what took you so long. And why exactly were you so nervous? Because I feel like I am being pretty straightforward with the fact that I'm already interested, so... It's not a lot of groundwork for you to cover, really. I've done it all myself. Just by looking at you and admiring. Day after day. Week after week. Rep after rep. Watching those beautiful muscles of yours grow. Which, by the way, have I mentioned? You're one of the biggest people I've ever seen in real life. Are you all natural? Well, there goes my ten dollars to my best friend. <laughs> I just wasn't completely convinced. I thought for sure you had some help from some sort of supplement, hormone, etc. I'm no pleasantly surprised to hear that this is all you, all natural. <sighs> wow. How many years have you been working out? Uh-huh. Yeah, everyone has that period of time where life just gets the best of them and can't make it into the gym, but excluding that, how long would you say? 
combining the total amount of time that you've spent in the gym, start to finish, what would you say? Wow. That's impressive. <laughs> yeah, that's certainly a lot longer than I've been going. I'll say that much. Well, I mean, I could only hope to get as big as you one day, but I kind of have a feeling that not really in the cards for me and my physique. Hmm. This is an interesting looking pizza. Sorry, my neighbors are always a little bit loud when they get home, but it honestly makes me happy that they've been together for so long and they still seem to always have something to chat about. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Do you want a plate or paper towel or something? Oh, sure, we could just eat out of the box. Here. Take as much as you want. I'll just set it right over here for you, if that's okay. Does that work for you? Oh, I understand. <laughs> well, I can put a couple pieces on a plate for you. Okay. Yeah, it's really no problem. I'm more than happy to be of service to you. How many slices would you like? One, two, three slices. To start. Okay. You're hungry, huh? Good for you. <laughs> I'm glad I got bigger size than I normally would. No. This is like half of the pizza, but that's okay. All I need is half, so. Does that look fine? Is that enough? Okay, here you go. I hope that you enjoy. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna keep mine in the box just to make it easier on myself. Are you sure you don't want a napkin or anything? Yeah, let me get you one. Here is a couple. Hmm. Oh, there was something I wanted to show you. Yeah, one second. <laughs> Have you ever seen one of these before? No. This is a massaging tool. It's almost like one of those foam rollers or a foam ball, but it vibrates at the same time. And I thought if you wanted to, I could show you how to use it and we could do some 
physiotherapy a little bit later. You know, like partner stretching and mutual massages, stuff like that. Oh, I mean, I can show you how it works. You want nothing to do with this. Why not? Well, that's weird, but okay. I mean, to each their own. Would you still be interested in massage exchanges? Just with hands? Okay, that's fine. I mean, yeah, I have some experience, do you? I'm not an expert masseuse or anything, I'm not certified, but I do some work on myself. I have a gua sha and a roller I could use. Oh, too girly for you, huh? It's not even skincare, it's just self-care, bodily care. Whatever. You know what? You're kind of lame for that, but I'll let it slide. (laughs) I would love to get back to the most important topic at hand, which is you, of course. What do you do for work? Oh, is this too much for you? You can't take me seriously. I think you'll be fine. So, what do you do for work? Oh. Yeah, actually one of my cousins used to do that (laughs) oh no it's it's a very admirable career path Mm -hmm. he used to tell me all about his days at work it was very fascinating sure yeah (laughs) tell me about how your week went Really? Hmm. What else happened? Hmm. Really? You don't say. Well, that's good. Congratulations. I'm sure you deserve it, yeah. Hmm. Um, no, I don't think I've ever heard of that. Hmm. Interesting, very interesting. Yeah, I think I would. I think I would like that very, very much. But we can talk about it another time. Yeah, you're right. Maybe I should get down. I just wanted to be close to you. I love looking into your eyes. They're so dreamy. So dreamy. I understand personal space is very important. So I apologize. If I was intruding on yours at all, that's my bad. And I promise it won't happen again unless you want it to. So sorry, once again. My deepest apologies.
I'm giving in. I'm going to finally have a slice of pizza. Even though I am a little bit embarrassed to be eating in front of you. But it is what it is. What it is. It is. And it is indeed what it is. Mm. Do you want any water or anything? I'm a little bit thirsty myself. Mm -hmm. Let me get you a glass. Nice and clean from the dishwasher. <laughs> Do you want ice or no ice? Okay. Again, very strange, but I will oblige. Thank you. <laughs> Let me refill this for you. I just was so thirsty. Plus, I figured you wouldn't mind a little bit of my saliva in the glass. That doesn't gross you out, right? Perfect. I should have figured as much. Yeah, you don't seem like you would care very much about that. Okay. For real this time, here is your water. Um, I'll just set it over here for you. <sighs> mm, so, let me ask you another question, if that's okay. Yeah, I, I don't want to make you feel like uncomfortable or anything, but I just... I have so many curiosities when it comes to you. You're just fascinating to me, and I want to learn as much about you as I can while you're here. Which, how late are you staying? By the way, I kind of forgot to ask. I guess it doesn't really matter. We don't have to plan it in advance, but it would just be nice to know when I can expect you to get out of here, if at all. I mean, yeah, you're, you are more than welcome to stay the night, but there's no pressure or anything. Of course not. I know I've been just like a tad bit forward pretty consistently, but hey, I have manners, I have respect, and I certainly have respect for people's boundaries. And if a boundary of yours is that you didn't want to sleep here, you don't have to sleep here. But if you do want to, you can. Yeah, we can just play it by ear. That sounds good to me. Are you joking? What the heck? You said you wanted pizza, and now you want fruit? Oh my gosh. Well, lucky for you, I already have some, but if I didn't, that would have been incredibly rude. Are you already done with your pizza? I feel like you barely even touched it. And that's okay. Can I save it for later? Okay. Sure thing, sure thing. Just box it back up. Uh, I think 
most of the fruit that I have is strawberries, blueberries maybe. Is that okay? Okay. Yeah, I mean, uh, whatever you would like. Like I said, I, I really don't mind being of service. Just would be nice if you asked me a little more politely. That's better. Please and a thank you never hurt anyone. In fact, they've helped a lot of people. So just remember that. Please and a thank you will get you far. Fruit bowl coming right up for you. What was the reason that you got so interested in working out? Oh. I see, I see. <laughs> yeah, I was never really a wrestling fan myself, but... I can see why they inspired you. The Von Eriks were crazy. One of the greatest families of wrestling history, for sure. Although their story is tragic, and if I think about it too much, I will cry. So, let's not talk about that right now. But I admire your inspiration. It's cool. I like that. What got me into it. Well, let me grab my paring knife and I'll get into my backstory. I'm glad that you asked. Thanks for being curious about me. That means you like me. <laughs> Don't see it in here. I know I had it just the other day. Hmm. It's always so hard to find. Well, I'll just use this one. It's a little bit too big for what I need it for, but. It'll be fine. I promise I won't hurt myself or you. I'm a pro at cutting strawberries. I need a bowl. I forgot about that. Bowl, bowl, bowl. Okay. So, to put it simply, also I just have to double check each and every strawberry to make sure that they are not molding because I'm deathly afraid of eating molding fruit and not realizing I'm doing so, but anyways, my origin story is through competitive dance, believe it or not. When I was growing up, so high school, middle school, I was a competitive dancer and if you know anything about it, which I'm not sure if you do, do you? Do you know anything about competitive dance? Sure, yeah. <laughs> um, well, it's not quite like the TV shows, but it's similar-ish. 
let's just say it's like any other sport where there is different levels, leagues, and I was always training at the top of the top levels, which means even from a very young age, I was super dedicated and determined to be the absolute best that I could be personally. The interesting thing about competitive dance specifically, and I think it's a big reason why I trained so hard and <laughs> often so rigorously is because as well as being a team sport, competitive dance is also very much about the individual. And of course, you want to be the best that you can be for your teammates, but at the same time, you're also going to be competing as a soloist, so you really need to be the absolute best for yourself because at the end of the day it's the only person who's gonna get you to the first place so anyways I was pretty competitive and do have a couple first place trophies under my belt Mm -hmm. yeah. It was definitely a different time in my life, but I'm glad that I did it. And what I was trying to summarize and say is that that era of my life competitive dance and all helped me to understand why being fit and healthy is so important because as many athletes do well not many but some that I've met when school ends and there's really no reason to continue dedicating yourself to a sport, you sort of go into this retirement stage where you start to indulge in a lifestyle that's not particularly centered around athleticism, staying in shape. And the result of that is usually a decline in your health, your stamina. That's exactly what I experienced after I retired and took some time off. I actually stepped back in as an instructor, a teacher, and noticed that I could barely even keep up with my seven or eight year olds, let alone the elite high schoolers like I used to be. So I decided, since I'm not necessarily training as a dancer anymore, that I could still train in general to get stronger and have better endurance, keep up with my students. So I decided to start going to the gym and it was one of the best decisions I've ever made. At least I think so. I feel like I'm in some of the greatest shape I've ever been in. And I also am happy. I don't have to compete against anyone except for myself. And 
beating my own personal record is a favorite hobby pastime of mine. So it's really a win-win all around. <laughs> and that's my story. Again, I appreciate you asking about it. I don't get to tell many people because, well, no one really asks. So thank you for giving me a chance to talk about that. It means a lot to me personally, but since it's a personal venture, it doesn't really need to be shared. However, that doesn't mean that it's not extremely beneficial to hear someone else say that they're proud of me and the progress that I've made. Which, by the way, I'm proud of you and the progress that you've made as well. I know it hasn't been easy considering what you told me about your story, but Clearly you've come a long way and you're continuing to strive forward as if nothing has ever held you back. And to say that that is admirable to me would be a grave understatement. So I'm going to let the indescribable take over this one and just stare at you with that same admiration that I've always felt, even before knowing who you were. Just the way that you pushed yourself when you were in the gym, I could tell. I could tell you had been through something, many things I now know, but at least something to get you motivated and start that deep inner fire burning I'm sure you know the one I'm talking about. The one that refuses to flicker away even in the darkest of times. I have a fire as well of my own. Good for us. We're pretty cool, I would say. Do you agree? I know. It's really feeling like we have a lot in common, including the fact that we enjoy spending time with each other. <laughs> Do you want some fruit? You're the one that asked for it. All right, well, it's right here when you're hungry for it. <laughs> say, what if we did that massage exchange? Yeah, we've got some food in us, and I'm feeling pretty sore from my session earlier. I figured you might be as well, and well, that was why I offered to teach you how to use this cool contraption, but you want nothing to do with it. For some reason, think it's super weird. So, <laughs> instead, we could do the old fashioned neck rub, etc. Okay, okay. I like when I get a yes from you. Why don't you meet me on the sofa over there? And I will go first in terms of massaging you first. Who knows? Maybe you'll get so relaxed that you'll fall asleep and then you will end up staying the night. Who knows, though? I'm certainly not an expert. Can't say for certain if that will or won't happen, but it could. And the possibility is enough for me. <laughs> oh. No, I 
I don't want you to feel rushed or anything. I mean, if you're enjoying your time, we can just keep chatting. But Okay, you're ready for the massage. <laughs> Got it. Well, let's go. Just have a seat over there and I will meet you in a moment. I'm going to just get this all cleaned up first, but then I'll come and meet you over there. Feel free to make yourself at home, get nice and cozy and comfortable. Fall asleep if you want to. Please. I would really, really like it if you stayed tonight, but no pressure, like I said. No pressure. <gasps> Unfortunately, gonna have to add about five minutes to that cleanup time because the blueberries are all over the floor. Yeah, I just did that. I can't believe I did for real, but there goes the blueberries. I'm glad we have some in this bowl, though. I'm gonna savor them. I'm gonna try not to cry over spilled blueberries strictly isn't allowed. Anyway, let me clean up and I'll meet you for your massage. Sound good? Okay. just gonna have you kind of tilt your head to the side. Either way works. Um, yeah, that's perfect. And I'm just gonna come in and massage down. Down, down, down. Just try to relax your muscles if you can doesn't work as well if they are stiff, so just try and really relax. Relax. Yeah, I bet that feels nice, doesn't it? You've been getting a lot of really good workouts in, I've noticed. But you seem like you've been going a lot in the morning, I 
feel like I used to see you when I would have my night sessions. Did you get a different schedule at work or something? I know with the job that you do, that can happen sometimes. I remember my good old cousin telling me all about that. Uh Uh-huh. Totally, totally. Just hold still for me. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, just relax. Sorry, I I make that noise when I'm thinking. It happens a lot. You'll probably notice me doing it now that I've done it once. (laughs) Sorry, I didn't mean to take a break. Good, hold still. Just getting in there with my elbow. A nice deep tissue massage. Good, other side. Hold still, please. Okay, very good. I'm just gonna really try and get in here. Yeah, there's this one spot in here. Seems like you have a pretty bad knot. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard for me to get my relatively small elbow, or so I thought, into the space between the bone and the muscle. So, sorry if it just doesn't feel as great when I'm using my thumbs only, but it's it's hard to get this in there sometimes, okay? Hey, I'm sorry, okay? I'm doing my best. I didn't hear you complaining two seconds ago. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah, sure thing. Sure thing. Oh, do you want to fight? Oh, we can fight. Oh, I'm down. Are you ready? I don't think you are. Bah! Yeah, too fast. Bah! Didn't even see it coming. Bah! Bah! I'm just kidding. I would never actually hurt you. Well, unless you asked really, really nicely and said, please, then I would think about it, but I would have to, you know, before making a real decision, make sure that you are serious. No, I don't do that for just anyone, so you'd have to qualify. (laughs) Don't worry about it. It's not important. I don't think we're headed in that direction anyways. You don't seem like the type. Oh, okay. Prove me wrong. In time. Not today. Today, you're gonna... Shush! Shush yourself. So I can get back to work. Just please try and relax, okay? Just relax, relax. Big muscles get big knots. That is for sure. That is for sure. Big muscles equals big knots. Yikes. Alright, let's get some scalp massage going on here. Really working into those temples. Nice, nice. I didn't know that about you. One time, when I was a kid, my dad, he's super, super big into baseball. He told me once about a player that got hit in the temple with a baseball. And he ended up passing away like two or three days later. And ever since then been terrified of getting hit in the temple because I thought it would kill me and I actually during a dance rehearsal when I was in high school got kicked right here she clocked me pretty good 
and I had a big swollen eye, but more importantly, I thought the whack of the temple would be my end. I thought that was it for me. Thankfully it wasn't, but I was convinced that was gonna happen. I really was. I was so scared. <laughs> oh, the silly things that kids worry about, am I right? Adults have silly worries as well, though. <gasps> Look who's here! One of my cats is out of the couch. Do you want to meet her? Let me grab her. Hi, honey. Come meet my friend. Okay. This little sweetheart's name is Kiwi. Can you say hi? <laughs> She's kind of shy, but she might hang out with us if I set her up here. She likes to be near me, usually. It's probably why she was sitting underneath the couch, because it's within ear's distance from the kitchen. Speaking of food, she sounds hungry. Mm-hmm. She's getting some lunch of her own. <laughs> it's about that time. How do you feel? Yeah. Are you relaxed? Good. Yeah, little kitty crunches. She's kind of a loud eater, but I honestly like it. Reminds me there's another living being in the household. That feels good to know that. It would be even better if you were here with me more regularly. You're gonna stay over tonight, right? Oh. Oh, I was really looking forward to it. What changed your mind? What happened? Mm. Something came up, huh? No, I understand. It happens. No, it's, it's fine, really. I mean, I'm sure we'll get another opportunity to see each other, right? You promise? Well, I'm sad you have to get going, but like I said, I understand. Can I give you something before you go? Okay. Close your eyes. <laughs> Surprise. I've been waiting to do that forever, for months and months and months. You too. Well, I'm glad we finally got that over with then. Come back for more anytime. I'm open. Wide open. <laughs> well, I can walk you down if you want. Yeah, I guess we do need to revise the plan. I guess since you're not going to stay over, we could postpone our collective couples gym session and do that another time. Oh, you still want to go to the gym together? Yeah, of course I want to. <laughs> Mal does... Tomorrow work, then, since you're not going to stay over? Okay. Yeah, it's a deal. Okay, perfect. So, gym tomorrow, and then maybe later this week we could try for a sleepover? I can come to your place, it's no problem. Okay. 
yeah, that sounds good, and it makes me very happy. Yeah, you too. Thanks for saying that. I really enjoy spending time with you. This was very unexpected, but I'm glad I had the day free. Oh yeah, I'll free up any time. Any time that I need to. If you want to be yours, you can have it. Alright, well I think that's enough boldness for one day. I'm feeling a little exhausted by how open and vulnerable I'm being with you, but I'm just telling myself it's going to be worth it. Because you're worth it. <laughs> yeah, really smooth skin, by the way. Okay, sorry. I'll let you get going. Yeah, I'll walk you out. Okay. Do you need a hand? Here. Okay. <laughs> I'll see you later. <laughs>